Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and if you look in the background, that is a sweet new version of Heath's cardboard biplane. I made some simple adjustments so it's easier to build, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so first I got to give all the credit to Heath for this idea. It was really, really slick. The only big things I did was I added tabs back here so these parts drop into place. I did it for the bottom, the top. I also made it so that the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer attach, and then I also put holes for the wheels. I added a place for the pilot to sit. I also put in these little cuts. They are one millimeter by four millimeter, and when they're cut, it actually allows this front end to bend so it matches the rest of the design. Alrighty friends, so remember the way I build this is I assemble a version over here where it's standing up and then I take all the parts and I make the layout so that I can export it as a SVG. I'm going to put this in my STL folder once again. I'm going to give you this SVG on Thingiverse. You'll be able to look in the description to find that. And now let's go over and cut biplane 2 and I'm going to call this V2 because I did make a couple adjustments. Here's a quick time lapse of the Orion Motor Tech and the Glowforge getting busy. Alrighty friends, so let's go through some quick assembly steps. First thing I'm going to remind you is always put your glue up. Second thing I'm going to tell you is this is the front. Let's put in these little stands first. I'm going to use the propeller to poke this one piece out. The others all came out fine. And remember we always put the glue upside down. So that way it's ready when we pick it up. Less glue is better than more glue. I'm going to just tap, 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 tap. Put the cap back on, leave it upside down so it's ready for the next time, and let's drop those parts in. All right, make sure you find the side that is clean for the top. And I'm gonna put my glue right on these little tabs. Tap, tap, tap. All right. Once again, cap it and gently drop it into place. Alright friends, with the front aimed this way, let's find our two side pieces and let's add some glue right here because we want it to glue on and we also want to glue to the inside we also want to glue to the inside of these spots. This slides in just like this. Making sure you come all the way to the bottom. And let's do the same thing here. Once again, glue on this front edge. Glue in this spot right here. Put the cap on so the glue is ready for later. and slide it in and glue that so it's straight down. The next piece to attach is this front piece. It totally covers this spot. So make sure you get glue on both of those. Store your glue and lock it in place. All right, friends, now we're gonna stick the straw through and we're also gonna glue in this second part. So first I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on these sides And then when we push this in, the big chunk of cardboard is actually up. The smaller end should keep it lined up. Push that down in the groove. 
and then your propeller should stick straight out. Once you've got that done and those lined up, then you can move to the top. The top has the place for the pilot to sit. And then I'm also going to put some glue on the sides of this so it attaches as well. Put my cap on my glue. And then this is one of my favorite features because of those grooves this piece will actually bend and make that front nose fit. Those are little one millimeter holes I cut. There's your fuselage. Let's glue on this horizontal stabilizer. Once again just glue in that area. And then find your vertical stabilizer and it drops in place as well. Now let's flip it over and quickly glue in this bottom part. Just a little dab of glue here and a little dab of glue here and we're good to go. Alrighty friends and now let's wrap it up by gluing in both of our front wheels just put a little bit of glue in there of course cap it leave it upside down and pop pop she can stand like that you can slide on your propeller make sure you don't push your straw back in because it is hard to bring it back out Alrighty friends, make sure you ask for the hot glue gun. Just put the tiniest little bit out there and then pull that little disc out into the hot glue so that way it's easy to make your propeller spin and then add the cap and give it time to dry. And there you have it, an awesome little biplane. Friends, if this is your first time ever seeing one of these, I've got a lot of lessons like this where we learn how to design with notches and tabs. This cool skateboard is a great one to start with, and I'll make sure I have a link up in the cards if you're interested in trying to build it. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it, an awesome laser-cut biplane that now has tabs that make assembly a little easier. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.